Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us look at another uh, uh, property and then try to show that the left hand side of the expression is equal to the right hand side of the expression. In here, let us take uh, an example here. And if, if we say if vector A is 3i minus j plus 2k and if vector B is 2i plus j minus k and if there is another vector c and if the components of those are i minus 2j plus 2k and if we have another vector called d and if the components of those are i plus j plus k then we want to show that this is one of the properties of uh, vector triple pro products. We want to show that vector A cross vector B and then if we were to dot product that by vector C cross vector D that is same as saying vector A dot vector C times vector b dot vector d minus vector a dot vector d times vector b dot vector c. So since we have the components for a, b, c and d, we can plug them into these expressions and see uh, whether the left hand side of the expression is equal to the right hand side of the expression. So let's get started. We'll call this side as the left hand side of the expression and then we'll call this one as the right hand side of the expression. So we will take one at a time and then see what we get. Okay. So we'll take the left hand side first. The left hand side of the expression is telling us that if we take vector A cross vector B and then if we wait to take the product of that and then dot it with the product of vector C uh, cross vector D, uh, what do we get? This is what we're going to do. So in here, for A cross B, we're going to do this. We're going to use matrices to be able to, we'll take the determinant of the components of this vectors and find what we get. So for, for A, the coefficient of, uh, let's write this, I, J, K, the, co the components of I for vector A is 3, and then for co the coefficient of J is negative 1, and the coefficient of K is positive 2. And for B, the coefficient of I is 2, the coefficient of J is 1, the coefficient of K is negative 1. So we're going to find the determinant of this and we're going to dot product that by the uh, by the product of uh, vector c cross vector d vector c they let us write those in here as well i j and k and uh, the coefficient of i for vector c is one coefficient of j is negative two coefficient of k is two and for d the coefficient of i is 1, the coefficient of j is 1, and the coefficient of k is 1. So we want to expand these and see what we get. When we do that, we're going to do the following things. We're going to um, expand along the first row for this, for this uh, determinant and for this determinant as well. Therefore, the sign convention is going to be positive, negative, positive. And then here too, the sign convention here is going to be positive, negative, positive. And when we expand, this is what we're going to get. So I, the minor of that is negative 1, 2, um, 1 and negative 1. And then minus J, the minor of that is going to be 3, 2, 2, negative 1. And then plus K, the minor of that is 3, negative 1, 2, 1. Okay? And then we're going to take all of this 
and then we want to dot product that by the expansions of these i the minor of that is going to be negative 2 2 1 and 1 minus j the minor of that is 1 2 1 and 1 and then this is 2 and then plus k the minor of, minor of that is 1 negative 2 1 and 1 so this is what we have and therefore let us see um, how we can expand this so when we expand this is going to be i times negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 minus 1 times 2 is 2 minus j times 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 3 times uh, 2 times 2 is 4 plus k times 3 times 1 is 3 my, uh, minus 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 times negative will be positive 2 and therefore this is the this is the expansion for this and then we want to dot that by whatever we get here so this is going to be i times negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 minus 1 times 2 is 2 minus j times 1 times 1 is 1 minus 1 times 2 is 2 plus k times 1 times 1 is 1 minus 1 times negative 2 is negative 2 times negative will be positive 2 like that so we got all the all the parts here so we want to simplify this some more when we simplify it is going to be i um, let me write it this way um, 1 minus 2 is negative 1 therefore this is going to be negative i then negative 3 plus negative 4 is negative 7 negative 7 times negative j will be positive 7j and then here 3 plus 2 is 5 therefore plus 5k we're going to take this and we're going to dot uh, product that by whatever this simplifies to negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4 therefore negative 4i 1 minus 2 is negative 1 negative 1 times negative j is positive j and then 1 plus 2 is 3 therefore 3k so we got we got we simplified all of this and since we know that i dot i is equal to j dot j is equal to k dot k and all of those are equal to 1 and then we also know that i dot j is equal to j dot k is equal to k dot i is equal to 0 we will use these dot product properties to simplify this and when we simplify we're going to get negative uh, i times uh, negative 4i that is going to be positive 4i dot i therefore we're going to write, write it like that and then i dot j is going to go to 0 i dot k is going to go to 0 then the next 7 uh, 7 j j dot i is going to go to 0 7 j times j will be plus 7 j dot j is equal to 1 therefore we'll leave it uh, like that then j dot k is going to go to 0 then k dot i is going to go to 0 k dot j is going to go to 0 then we have we are left with 5 times 3 is 15 k dot k is equal to 1 therefore when we simplify this 7 plus 4 plus 15 it's going to be equal to 26 going to be equal to 26 so the value here the this is a result of vector a cross vector b and then we took that and then we dot product that by vector c cross vector d let me put this in a box here this is what we got and then this is the left hand side of the expression then now we will take the right hand side of the expression and see if we can arrive at the same answer okay so let us take the right hand side of the expression and then in here we have a vector a dot vector c and then we want to uh, times that by vector b dot vector d like that minus 
vector a dot vector d and then we're going to times that by vector b dot vector c that is what we have so let's get uh, started with this vector a the components are 3i minus j plus 2k and we're going to dot product that by choose a vector c which is i minus 2j plus 2k right we're going to take that and then we're going to times that by vector b is 2i plus j minus k and we're going to dot product that by vector d which is going to be i plus j plus k like that and then we're going to subtract that from uh, um, from this the for vector a we have 3i minus j plus 2k right and then we're going to dot product that by vector d which is i plus j plus k like that and then we're going to times this by uh, vector b dot vector c vector b here is 2i plus j minus k dot vector c is i minus 2j plus 2k okay i this is i let me write that a bit clear here this is i and therefore we're going to close those brackets like that when we simplify this this is how it's going to look like so in here we can uh, simplify this as we, we're going to then state that i dot i is equal to 1 j dot j is equal to 1 and k dot k k dot k is equal to 1 and also i dot j is equal to 0 and j dot k is equal to 0 and k dot i is equal to 0 and therefore we will use these dot product properties to simplify the expression what we have here and when we simplify this is what we're going to get so this is going to simplify to 3i 3 times i times i this is going to be 3 i dot i is 1 and then i dot j is 0 i dot k equals to 0 then j dot i is 0 j dot j is 1 so therefore negative j times negative 2 2 j will be positive 2 j dot j is 1 j dot k is 0 k dot i is 0 k dot j is 0 then we have plus 2 times 2 is 4 k dot k is 1 so we got the dot product of that and then we want to times that by 2i dot i is going to be equal to 2 i dot j is 0 i dot k is 0 then j dot i is 0 and then j dot j is 1 so therefore plus 1 and then j dot k is 0 k dot i is 0 k dot j is 0 k dot k is 1 so therefore this is there is a negative 1 there therefore we want to take we want to multiply this out and then we want to uh, also simplify this part of it there is another expression here and this expression is as follows i dot i is three um, i dot i is going to be three uh, three i dot i is three then we have uh, i dot j is zero i dot k is zero then j dot i is zero j dot j is is 1 therefore negative 1 and then j dot k is 0 k dot i is 0 k dot j is 0 and then k dot k is 1 so therefore 2 times 1 is plus 2 and then we're going to times that by we're going to do the same operation uh, and simplify this part 2i dot i 2, 2i dot i is 2 
i dot j is zero i dot k is zero then j dot i is zero j dot two uh, j negative two j that is going to be negative two j dot j is one j dot k is equal to zero and then Neg uh, k dot i is 0, k dot j is 0, k dot k is 1. Therefore, negative 1 times positive 2k is going to be equal to negative 2. k dot k is 1, therefore, just 2 like that. So, we will simplify this expression. 3 plus 2 um, is f uh, 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 times 2, because positive 1 and negative 1 cancels out minus 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4 times positive 2 and negative 2 cancels out leaving us with negative 2 therefore this is going to be 9 times 2 is 18 minus 4 times negative 2 is positive 8 and therefore um, 18 plus 8 is going to be equal to 26 going to be equal to 26 and this is exactly what we have uh, in here as well isn't it so this is the value here is 26 and the value here is also 26 and this is a result of this is a result of vector a dot vector c times vector b dot vector d minus vector a dot vector d times vector b dot vector c therefore we can come back here and then say the left hand side of the expression is exactly equal to the right hand side of the expression and therefore this property is true vector a cross vector b and then if we take the dot product of that to vector c cross vector d this is the same as saying vector a dot vector c times vector b dot vector d minus vector a dot vector d times vector b dot vector c so the left hand side of the expression is exactly equal to the right hand side of the expression and therefore this property is true so in my next presentation we shall look at some more examples related to vector triple products